Hello and welcome to another episode of Block Breaking Season 2. So I think I'm going to start my episode... Whoa! <laughs> ah! Dang it! Dang it! Okay, let's try this again. So I am going to start out this episode with these three little guys right here. And I'm guessing the title of my video probably spoiled the reason why. <laughs> but if it hasn't, let me show you why. So, I've had an idea kicking around in my head for uh, many, many years. Um, and it involves these three little pigs. So two things that have been in, game, in the game for a long time were uh, bricks and wood. And then back in, I, I looked it up, it was version 1.61. It was nine and a half years ago they introduced hay bales. And uh, once they did, I had this great idea that now that we had, we had straw, wood, and bricks, I wanted to build the three little pigs' houses. And this, this idea has been knocking around my head for nine and a half years. And now instead of just wood, we actually have what I would consider sticks. <laughs> so now, true to the story, we have straw, sticks, and bricks. So I thought it was a perfect time now to finally go ahead and give these three little pigs some homes. And uh, I think this is a pretty good spot for it. So we've got, of course, my, my princess castle that we built, my starter home. And it's just kind of sitting up here all by itself. And, of course, it does look like something that would be from a fairy tale or a fable. So I figured uh, building it here next to this house would be a great idea. And this little nook down here just seemed like a perfect spot for it. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and get started. I've gathered some resources already, and let's see, I've gathered uh, quite a few resources to build these houses. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go ahead and get started on that right now. So let's roll that beautiful house building footage. <laughs> back I hope you all enjoyed that time lapse so let me show you what I've got going on here so the first thing I have down here right by the river I made a uh, farm for the pigs that contains all of their favorite root vegetables that they can eat um, also down here I have a nice little dock so that they can trade with the other civilizations down the river and it looks like they got their first shipment of green jelly in so I think they're gonna be pretty happy about that and if you get that reference without looking it up you better drop me a line in the comments <laughs> okay, so let me show you first um, the uh, straw house. So in the fable, the first little piggy, uh, he made a straw house, a house made out of straw. 
And I kind of like the build on this. It's relatively simple, but it's a straw house. It should be simple. And I thought the round build was perfect for that. And I used the acacia, specifically acacia. Number one, I wanted it to look more sturdy. And I needed, you know, like, like, like as if it wasn't just bales of straw stacked on top of each other. There was actually something holding them together. And also I thought the acacia worked because it, it matches the, uh, the baling wire that's uh, tying all of the bales of hay together. So I thought that came out pretty nice. And the roof up top, there's a little bit more acacia in the roof than there is straw. I figured the roof had to be something that wouldn't just completely collapse in on itself. <laughs> and I started doing some interiors here. Um, I'm not really big on interiors. Some of these ideas I got off the internet. But uh, this one in here, he's got a nice little setup here. He's got his bed up top. And uh, this one is writing a book called The Hair of My Chinny Chin Chin, an autobiography by a little pig. <laughs> so he's down here and he's got some art on the wall and he's got uh, his little snack laid out for himself. So now let's go over and check out the house for the second little pig. Uh, this little pig made his house out of sticks. And um, when I originally wanted to do this many years ago, I was thinking this would just be wood, but again, these, uh, these made for nice looking uh, sticks, so I decided to go with that. And I kept the build relatively simple. Um, it's a more of a square build than that one. And I did uh, kind of put this little part sticking out here with a little bit of an overhang and a little bit of a change up on the roof just to give it a little bit of personality, but I still wanted it pretty basic. And let's take a look inside his house here. And uh, he's got just, like lots of storage going on here, uh, some furnaces. And uh, he's just kind of got like a little wash station here and a small little bedroom. And now let's take a look at the house that the third piggy made. And this is the one that made his brick house. So I wanted to make this a nice, it's bigger in comparison to the others. And there's a little bit more going on. It looks very sturdy. And I wanted to make it like the walls aren't just brick, but the, the roof is a, a form of brick. Even the front porch is brick. And these are bricks, so I really wanted to like really hammer home the brick theme on this house. And I think the shape came out pretty nice. I kind of have this little bit jutting out here with a different roof line. And I kind of did that little bit on top, and that was just to break up the plain roof a little bit. Uh, and we got this porch with an overhang, and I thought that added some personality to it. Uh, one thing that this house had to have was a nice big chimney, because in many versions of the fable, Whenever the wolf cannot blow down the brick house, he decides to try to go through the chimney to get to the piggies. And the, of course, the piggies then capture him in the chimney. Uh, coming up here, I got these uh, three nice carved little, uh, little pig snouts here <laughs> to represent the three pigs. And we've got a bit of an interior here. We've got this front little landing, which I thought was pretty clever. And, uh, and this is, again, whenever the, in many versions of the fable, when the wolf comes down the chimney, he lands in a pot of boiling water where the piggies immediately put the lid on and capture him and um, and cook him and eat him for dinner. <laughs> so I gave this uh, this piggy, he's got a bit of a nicer kitchen. He's got, you know, some of the nicer new appliances and stuff. And he's actually eating baked potatoes. Oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> he's eating baked potatoes and golden carrots. So these, this piggy's got it going on. Uh, he's got a nice little uh, dining area, so all three piggies can come in here and, and have a meal together in his nice little dining area. And he even has an upstairs, and this is the third piggy's opulent bedroom. Uh, he's got some nice huge artwork on the wall. He even has gold uh, corner posts in his bed. He's got storage around his bed. He even has like all of these closets to store all of his stuff. And a couple other little details I made in their little village here. Uh, they have, um, well, if they were uh, people like us, they would have a swimming pool, but they're pigs. So they have a nice warm mud pool that they can come and, and lounge in. And um, it'd be nice if I could make this water look murky, but <laughs> I can't. But this is uh, basically their version of a pool. is a nice mud pit to wallow in, and it's nice and warm. And uh, they have little beach chairs set out, too. thought that was... Uh, a pretty cute little thing to build for them. And the final thing is they have this grand statue in the middle of town, which is in memory of Old Mother Pig. <laughs> because in many versions of the fable, Old Mother Pig 
uh, cannot take care of the piggies, which is why she sends them out to make it on their own. And uh, I th thought that uh, statue was pretty cute. Got an idea for this off the internet, and I thought the size of it was absolutely perfect for the center of this little town. All right, and that's it. So let's go ahead and move these little piggies into their homes. So we will start with the first little piggy. You are going to go into your straw house. <laughs> I love this animations mod. They look so cute when they walk. All right, so you come on down. And let's see if we can get you in here without getting caught on any fences. Oh, come on in. You don't like that door, do you? Okay, we'll have to uh, move those doors out of the way, I suppose. All right, so this is your home. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you can finish that autobiography. <laughs> Let's get that second little pig. And you come on in. There you go. All right, and now let's get the third little pig in his house. Oh, it's getting dark. Better get you in soon before the wolves show up. All right, there you go. All three little piggies snuggled in their homes. Now, one thing I did in this little area is I surrounded the entire thing with a fence. So this fence uh, surrounds the whole thing. And it's not really meant to keep the bad guys out. It's actually going to be meant to keep the wolves in. <laughs> so I wanted to get a few wolves to put in here. And I want them kind of roaming around the area. And I didn't want them to get out of this area. That's also why I put this whole fence separating the farming area from the rest of the uh, village. Because I didn't want the wolves to kind of start swimming out here in the water. So the wolves are going to be a bit of a challenge. See, I wanted more than one wolf. I kind of wanted three, one for each pig. But um, I'm going to just have to see what I can get. Uh, wolves cannot be led by leads. So my only chance here is to find wolves, capture them in a boat, and then get them here via boat. Now I did some scoping out nearby, and it was really, really hard to find wolves. I should probably armor up since I'm flying. I don't want any accidents. But I think... In this forest over here, I thought I found a couple, if I remember correctly, but I don't remember where they were. They might have even been out past this village. So this whole area down here is a uh, wire destroyer has this area saved where he's going to end up doing a, a, a large build. But hopefully I can find these wolves. You know what, I'm going to turn on hitboxes. Sometimes it's easier... To see the animals through the trees if you have hitboxy. Here's a sheep. Okay. So that is a sheep, which means there's no wolf nearby or else he'd be dead. Okay. Well, I'm going to fly around a bit and see if I can find the, the wolves that I spotted earlier. And then I'll come back to you. Okay, I am having a hard time finding those wolves that I spotted before. Now, I do have some pet dogs here. And my first thought was that I could use them. And, uh, of course, these guys are Inky, uh, Pinky, Blinky, and Clyde. And, again, if you get that reference without looking it up, you need to drop me a line in the comments. But one thing I don't really want to do with the dogs is they have to sit still, right? I want the, I want the uh, wolves to be roaming the area like they're pacing back and forth, keeping the little pigs scared inside their homes. And these dogs, either they're going to have to sit still or they're going to teleport to me. So I'm going to keep you guys here as a backup just in case. But I need to go, I guess, uh, how are my elytras looking pretty good? I need to go find these wolves that I saw earlier. So let me go back to the search and I'll be back with you in just a moment. Alright, there we go. There's one wolf. And I think there's another one around here somewhere. Alright, here's two wolves. Okay, so... What is that over there? Is that another wolf? Oh, there's three wolves right here. Awesome. Okay. So, let me... Um, I'm going to waypoint this area. Call this wolves. So I can remember how to get back here. And now... 
Okay, there's one. There was one way over here too, right? Let's see. Oh wow, how quickly. Okay, here we go. So I need to capture him in a boat. Come on, sit still. All right. So now I need to get him home. And I think that's the village that is just south of my castle. So if we can get him to that village, then I think we should be able to find a nice, quick, easy way home. <laughs>I successfully have all three wolves in the little pig's village here. These two here stuck in the corner and this guy here. So now I'm going to give these guys names and I have a few names already picked out. All right. I just gave you made those name tags. So let's go ahead and put them on these guys. So first one we have is Big Bad. He is the Big Bad Wolf. All right, the other two, we've got Huff, and of course, to go along with Huff, we have, if I can find them, <laughs> where'd you go? Are you back there? Oh, he's still back here. And Huff. <laughs> now, in my inventory, I actually had three more name tags. So in the fable, these pigs didn't have names. They were just like first little pig, second little pig, third little pig. 
And you are, you do not want to cook yourself, buddy. <laughs> uh, smart as you are with the big house, you're not a very bright pig, are you? Anyway, I was thinking I wanted to give these three pigs names, but I couldn't come up with anything. So I need your help again. I need your help to go throw me some uh, pig names that might be kind of cool and appropriate for this fable. Uh, you know, don't give me anything, you know, silly like George. But, you know, something that you think might be actually fitting and clever for the fact that these are the three pigs in the, st in the famous fable. Uh, if you can come up with something clever, drop it in the comments and I will be sure to name them in the next episode. So I think that's about it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed me making the uh, three little pigs in their little village here. And I hope to see you again in the next episode. Until then, you take care of yourself. Bye-bye.